Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSU81 and today I will be doing a review for this Sentinel Toys <laughs> Spider-Gwen and Spider-Ham Yes, I know that I have made several videos about this figure whereby I also know that it is not that good but somehow it is a missing piece in my uh, Sentinel's puzzle <laughs> Yeah, without her, I just can't complete my Sentinel collections of Mouse and uh, Peter B. Parker and her So I just have to get it And this piece itself, uh, it's not new because uh, it's kind of like back in the box condition So I actually trade it with another collector with uh, my SH Figuarts figure and uh, I hope that this is worth it I, I think it's worth it because like I say, it actually completes my collections for the Sentinel toys So without further ado, let's take a look at the always very creative box design for Sentinel toys whereby they leave a windows for you to see the figure itself and these are very nice pictures of the figures and at this side of the box, you can see some cool poses for Gwen as well as more beautiful poses of this spider ham and also the additional accessory for Gwen Stacy and this part of the balls, I just like how they actually choose the background for this spider Gwen it just makes the box looks very vibrant so without further ado, let's get her out Okay, so this is Spider-Gwen and Spider-Ham right out of the box and I must say that the very first impression that I got of her is Wow, she's very much like the SH figures. Somehow the details are pretty amazing and definitely like what you guys say She's way too small <laughs> She's cute in a way Of course, I know this is from the Into the Spider-Wars and not the latest one So she's still very young And the hoodie somehow looks kind of big for her size But if you take a look at the head inside I think they have no choice but to make her like this And I just love it that they actually give us some curve on the hoodie and i just love the pearl white that they use you can see how shiny it looks and the body is full of details as you can see there are patterns all over just like the sh figuarts very very much like it and wow this is really really neat and of course we know sentinel toys does have this gap is for the articulations on the legs which i will show later and her head looks equally nice yeah there is no um, Miss Pain or anything like that uh, around her eyes, she looks great. As for Spider Ham, I think we have seen this post multiple times for the Marvel Legends from Mayfax. Yeah, it's pretty much the same post, but we do know that she, she does come with quite a number of accessories which will make him look pretty fun. And yeah, I think the lining actually being painted very well for this Spider Ham looks pretty good for such a small guy. So we'll move on to the articulations, I'll start with Spider Gwen So her head can look to the right, looks to the left Looking up, yeah not too bad Looking down, uh, just slightly because of her hoodie She doesn't have any butterfly joint but we can see that her arms can move forward pretty much Of course there will be arm shivers, a single, oh sorry, it's double joint elbow And of course her hand can uh, turn around but you can't move it up and down because it's just having a pack there is no ball pack there and for the uh, torso there is two articulations so we can actually shivers on her waist yeah very smooth shivers as you can see and even the torso yeah this is what i like about sentinel toys the the movement of the figures are usually pretty smooth it's not like very tight that you can't move it around or you can hear a squeaking sound this is just very nice i mean if you are my hand you will feel that this is just like a top notch figure and as for her legs there isn't any pull down mechanism and let's see how well she can kick forward wow this is a pretty good one okay more than 90 degrees and kicking backwards <laughs> is equally good i mean she's uh she can do ballet so this actually <laughs> do very well on her yep and then her legs can do a pretty wow this is like a perfect split oh my goodness and she does have a double join knee and this is what i want to mention about the gap on her thigh is for this purpose wow can you look at that this is just a perfect squatting down pose this is really nice only the sentinel toys can do it i'm not sure whether the amazing yamaguchi can but this is like a perfect one the same goes for mouse and even for peter parker okay so her legs is on a ball joint so you can actually move it around up and down and she does have a toe hinges as well 
so this is my goodness oh yeah i kind of forgotten about the shivers uh no tight shivers as you can see but she can still do a slight shivering not too bad and yeah everything else is just so smooth i mean wow there's no clicking sound no nothing it just feels good playing with this Gwen. As for Spider Ham, we all know that he's basically just a statue. You can just turn his head. Of course, there are lots of accessories for the hands and even an interchangeable he heads for him. So there will be like you can see, there's a ball joint there. Yep. So his head is very very flexible. I think the tail also has some slight movement. If I'm not wrong, is this a ball joint? Let me try. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you can actually move the tail around. My goodness, this is so cute. And next, we'll move on to the accessory. And I think we do have lots to talk about. I'll start with the lady. So she does have a close fist hand that's already on the figure. A pair of relaxed hands. A pair of open palms hands. A pair of wall crawling hands. A pair of grabbing hands for the webbings. And lastly, a left hand for holding on to her phones. And this is the phone that she comes with. You can see there is a picture of her with mouse. And she just comes with another interchangeable mask head whereby you can see her eyes are actually smaller. And she just comes with this very beautiful unmasked head of Gwen Stacy together with this remove hoodie for her to put on to. Very nice. At the same time, she just comes with a pair of web shooting hand with a webbing already attached to it. And also she just comes with these very long spider webs. And here is the highlight of the figure whereby she just comes with half of a Gwen Stacy in the school uniform. This is of course a statue whereby there's nothing movable except for the heads. Yeah, so you just have to use the legs from this spider Gwen. Yep, I'll show it to you guys later on how to interchange it. But she just looks pretty nice with this head. Yeah, very cool looking. <laughs> And next, we'll move on to the spider hand. So he just comes with these folded arms that's already on the figure. A pair of hands with straightened arms. A left hand for him to hold on to the ground. A left hand for him to hold on to his hammer. A pair of hands for him to hold on to the camera. A right web shooting hands with the webbings on it. And an extra legs for you to interchange with. That's cute. Of course, he just comes with this hammer. And also this very awesome looking camera. And he also comes with this very cute looking sad head. <laughs> and of course, they do come with this base stands from the Sentinel. And this time around, they do give two stands as well. Wow. And also this stand for the spider ham. So as you can see, they do come with tons and tons of accessories for you to interchange with. And next, I'm going to show you how to put on some of these accessories onto the figure. But before that, I'm going to show you that they do come with this instruction sheet which is still in black and white <laughs> so from here you can see uh, they do come with uh, a list of accessories that it comes with as well as a very detailed instruction which I'm going to show you as well so wow this is very detailed and uh, very easy to follow as well so they do have English not just Japanese even how to stand up this stand yep so I'm going to show you all this right now It is rather hard to actually let her hold on to her phone. It doesn't really grab very well as you can see. Yeah, just... <laughs> ah. Well, there's nothing a blue tech can't fix. <laughs>
Do click on the like button if you enjoy this review. Thank you. Okay, so next we'll move on to the size comparison. I'll start with some Marvel Legends. I have this uh, Gwen here which looks like a giant <laughs> next to her and also the spider ham. And still on the Marvel Legends, I'll compare with this recent Miles Morales from Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, this, are, this is the grown-up versions of her. So naturally, they look bigger. <laughs> And next we move on to SHV Guard, so I do have these two. They are from the Across the spider Wars as well. So naturally, I think they are bigger because they have grown up, so I think this scale pretty well. And next we move on to some main facts. I do have this very tiny and cute spider ham as well as the Gwen. Okay, so uh, I think they scale pretty well. I mean, in terms of the height is almost the same. And lastly, of course, I'd like to compare with the same Sentinel Toys Peter Parker as well as Mouse Morales. Yeah, so this completes my Sentinel Toys collections for these three. Sorry, including this little guy as well. Okay, so for my final thoughts for this Spider Gwen, I'll start with the overall look. Basically, I think it looks very good. I just love the build of it. It just looks very nice. Everything else just looks very perfect. And in terms of the, you know, the sculpture wise, it's very detailed. And you can see it got a really nice painting. Yeah, it's all being done very well. Even for this additional accessories of a statue figure, yeah, I just love it. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to get her. It just looks very nice even though it's just a statue and you can see her face looks so beautiful. And even for these other heads, it actually looks very nice just because of this piece of hair. It just makes her look a little bit odd because believe me, once I change the hair to this hair, it will look very nice as well. Yeah, see what I mean? As for spider him, I do think that he also being made very nicely. Yeah, even the paints all looks very beautifully done. <laughs> yeah, even for a figure this small, I think he looks pretty good. And of course, with this additional head plus all of the other accessory, will just complement this figure even more. So for the overall look, I'm just going to give it 4 out of 5. And let's move on to the articulation. I think he, she can actually articulate pretty well. The best thing is, I just love the smoothness of the every movement of the joint it just feels so nice i mean there is no clicking sound but it just feels so smooth everything just being <laughs> so nicely done my goodness this is just very premium feel when you have it on your hand you just like to play with it you can articulate it everywhere you want to i think the articulation is pretty good the only thing is that the hand it doesn't have a joint yeah you just have a, a fixed pack so you can't really move her hand up and down and things like that and for the spider ham is half statue because you can just move his head uh, so of course we can't really talk much about him i just take him as one of the accessory that comes with her so for the articulation i'm just going to give it four out of five as well and next we'll move on to the accessory yes these two actually comes with tons and tons of accessory it does looks very nice when you actually can interchange especially for this spider ham you can totally change his overall look because he's just a statue but my only grab is for this one here oh, oh my god i think it's just such a loss of opportunity because why not they just give another pair of legs yeah it doesn't even cost them that much to just give two more legs and it'll be a complete figure on it so i don't mind paying a little bit more for the two pair of legs because it's going to be like a three in one figure or 2.5 figures but ah uh, why must they make us to change something like this yeah so it's just very inconvenient to just keep changing the legs so in that alone yeah for the accessory i'm just going to give it a three out of five and next for the skill we all know that this <laughs> spider gwen is really really tiny as compared to the other brands but uh, when we compare it with the Sentinel itself, I think she does scale pretty okay. And even with the Mayfax Gwen, she does seems like on the same height. Okay, so in this case, uh, for the skill, I'm just going to give it a 4 out of 5 as well. And lastly will be the price for this Sentinel toys. We all know that Sentinel does cost a little bit more as compared to Mayfax or even the SH figures. So yeah, this too is slightly expensive as compared to Mayfax. So in terms of price, I'm just going to give it a 3 out of 5. 
So in final conclusion, do I still recommend this spider gwen from Sentinel Toys? Uh, yes and no. Yes, if you already have the other right, the Miles Morales or even the uh, Peter B. Parker Spider-Man or even the Penny Parker, then yeah, you definitely need to get her to complete the collections. And no, if this is going to be your only Sentinel Toys uh, Spider-Gwen because I don't think it's actually worth it. Yeah, the price is really too much. If you really want to get a decent uh, Spider-Gwen from Into the Spider-Verse, you can get the Mayfax one. I think it costs a lot more cheaper even though it doesn't have as much accessory but I think it's still more worthwhile to get that spider gland instead of this one here. So I do hope that you enjoyed my review and I certainly hope that it helps you to decide if you should get this Sentinel Toy spider gland and I'll catch you again in my next video. And I hope you'll click on this video right over here.